What's up, I'm Amanda Costco, and you're watching the Electric Runway YouTube channel where fashion meets technology. Thank you so much for tuning in. So those of you who know me know that I am obsessed with the future of fashion, retail, and consumer product innovation, which is why I'm so excited to be sharing these. These, my friends, are my very first pair of smart glasses. Focals by North are a pair of consumer grade augmented reality eyewear that are meant to be just as fashionable as they are functional. They include a hidden holographic display that project light onto the frame. This augments your reality to layer on important digital information. Focals can tell you the weather, give you directions, display text messages, and help you call an Uber. There's also all the other features you'd expect, including a smartphone processor and connectivity to your phone. So because Focals are a custom product fit just for your vision, you actually have to go to one of their retail locations in order to be fitted for your frames. I had the opportunity to visit their Ossington Street location in my home city of Toronto to be fitted for my Focals. If you're interested in what that experience was like, I'm gonna leave the video link here or here, somewhere in the cards so that you can take a look. But I ordered my Focals in January and they arrived just at the beginning of summer. It's now the end of the summer by the time I'm getting around to filming and editing this video, so I have been waiting for almost half a year to get into these. Without further ado, let's unbox them. Your focus come in a simple white box with the logo on the front. The packaging is a continuation of the sleek and minimal aesthetic we've seen on the website and in store. Inside, you'll find a soft carrying case, just like you'd expect from a pair of high-end eyewear. But in this case, the case acts as a dock and a charging station for the glasses, which is why it is a little large. Inside, you have your frames and the input device, which is called the loop. Then you have some additional information, a charging cord, and the clips. These are what transform the frames from eyewear into sunglasses. You have some options here. I chose the black and gold clips and this is what they look like. The glasses look and feel like regular eyewear, save for the thick aluminum arms that house the projector. And speaking of the projector, it takes a little bit of time to get used to, so you may feel like you're straining your eyes or even becoming cross-eyed to compensate. That's where the sun clips actually come in really handy. Not only do they block out more light, making it easier to see the AR display, they also disguise where you're looking in case you don't want onlookers knowing you're wearing smart glasses. On their own, Focals have a number of useful features, including displaying the date and time of day, as well as displaying notifications from messages and social media accounts. You can use the companion app to choose which notifications are important to you. However, Focals really come to life when you connect them to Amazon's Alexa. I should mention here that North has received $100 million in funding from Intel Capital and Amazon's Alexa Fund. The frames have a built-in microphone so they can respond to Alexa queries, so you can ask Alexa to play your music, hear the news, get directions, and more. The only thing is that Alexa's only way of answering you is through the glasses, so anyone around you will be able to hear you talking to your glasses. Focals are filled with hidden gems like gifts that clap for you when you cross off a task and even a game where you're a moose and you have to jump over incoming logs, an ode to the brand's Canadian heritage I'm guessing. So it's hard to know what exactly to say about Fogels, and that's mostly because there's nothing like them on the market. So instead of coming to some grand conclusion for you, I'm gonna share what I feel are the pros and cons of Fogels by North. So Focals are definitely an ambitious project, but if you find yourself thinking, why do I need these? You're not alone. I have to admit that the company has failed to display a really killer app or use case for the frames. And at $599 a pair, you're definitely asking a lot of your consumers, and that's just the starting price before all the bells and whistles. It's asking a lot of the consumer not only out of their wallets, but also out of their comfort with technology. It turns out that wearing technology on your face is still invasive even if it's not detectable as technology. Because of the privacy restrictions on the iPhone, when you respond to messages using the voice to text feature, your contact gets a message from a new phone number saying that it's you and you're texting them from your glasses 
which makes the whole process a bit cumbersome. In terms of pros, I have a lot of great things to say about Focal, starting with the aesthetic. If the goal was to create a pair of fashion-first smart eyewear, I think they've definitely succeeded. Um, in terms of creating an input device for the next generation of wearables, I actually think that the loop is genius and maybe when we look back on it, the loop will be like the mouse of this generation of wearable computing. I also have a ton of confidence that Focals are going to get better as new apps and features are added. I just got an email today from Focals that you can now connect your Spotify account and your Focals are able to detect a song. So I think that's really cool and I think that as more developers get on board then we're going to see lots of interesting use cases come out. So while they may not be the next big thing in fashion or even in wearable technology, I do think that Focal's gesture towards a future where our digital and physical realities are merged and we're not looking down at a screen, we're more heads up and involved in the world around us. I also think that they gesture towards a future where the human body is the interface for interacting with the world and I think that's super exciting. What do you think about Focals? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when I make new videos. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.